Uh, I was at Seleucy. I didn't expect to be at Seleucy. We were studying at the seminary in Washington, expecting to return to South Africa, and then I had a call uh, if we would go, I would go to Seleucy and lead out. They were starting a four-year program training of ministers and uh, for Africa. As Duncan Eva wrote, and he said, this is a new Africa, we need a new ministry. And so we turned around, quite a radical shift from what I'd expected. At Seleucy, there were many animals, uh, even we would see leopards occasionally. Great kudu deer of all kinds, and there were snakes of many, many kinds that were there. Had to be careful. I could tell you many snake stories. But I think the one you want to know is the a man who had been the secretary of the division, Elder E.D. Hansen. They'd been wonderful folks. They were from the northeast, northwest, up on the coast of uh, or Oregon, or Oregon. Uh, at Seleucy, there were many rocks, great little hills, boulders or rocks, and in places there were paintings of early people who had done some paintings and carvings in these rocks. And he wanted to go and see these. Uh, his, that was his last visit at Seleucy. And uh, so uh, that was on a Sunday morning. He'd been the Sabbath with us on Sabbath. So we set out. And uh, <clears throat> then I began to think of myself, just as we were going out, but you know there are snakes everywhere, and for she doesn't move very fast. Uh, oh, my word. But I, I didn't want to go and get a gun then, and I did have a shotgun, which was the kind of thing you really need to shoot a snake. But I took a small gun, a two-two rifle that I had. And uh, they were a bit shocked that I was carrying a gun. And so I, I said, well, I hate to do this, but I've had many encounters with snakes here. And some of them are great big mambas that can be aggressive. So anyway, I said, it's not loaded, so you're quite safe. if it falls or anything happens, you're quite safe, but I'm just carrying it. So we began to walk up. We were climbing up this grade. It's a beautiful rock, really. We were climbing up this slowly, going on slowly. She was walking very slowly, and uh, I was leading the way. And then as we climbed up, we were, oh, a long way up. I suppose we'd gone up 100 feet already or more with a very stiff pathway to walk up, a great big black mamba comes down at us. So I said, stop, just be very quiet, still. And the mamba came closer. And I was getting worried. And I said, nothing, don't move, don't whisper. And the mamba came closer. And then as I watched, the mamba began to stand up. Now, mambas like this could be seven, eight feet long even. And uh, I thought to myself, oh, my word, what is the snake doing? They can be very aggressive. I've seen snakes come up and tackle a driver on a tractor, just jumping over the front of their tractor and sort of knocking at a man and uh, get angry. And so I decided, well, what can I do? So I slowly loaded this 2-2, this tiny, this is a, a small 2-2 gun. That you, you need a shotgun because if you injured that snake and didn't break its backbone, uh, that would be the end of you. And uh, it stood up with some more and began to open its mouth at us. And I thought, I can't wait now, I must do my best. So fortunately, I aimed and I shot, and it broke its backbone through the collar. And uh, this 
this big mamba went down. And uh, then we walked away. We decided we wouldn't go up any further. <laughs> we, we wouldn't see the paintings and the carvings in the rock we went for. We'd call that <laughs> the end of this particular morning for them. So that was one experience with a snake. <laughs>